Okay, guys, so what we have here is the two side pieces and the eight connectors for the four link suspension front and rear. And as you can see, these bits are pretty scratched up. It's hard to spot there in the video. Um, but they are, they are quite scratched up. And what we're going to do is I'm going to give them a bit of a sand down and I'm going to whack them on the polisher and show you sort of what the piece is going to look like after I finish with them. So I know you can buy the Tamiya parts, the genuine luster silver, but I thought, well, yeah, I'll do it myself. A bit more fun. So let me have a crack at this and see what we can do. So the first piece I'm going to work on is this, this side. Um, I've got a little fine grade sanding block here. So just a... Just got it from the local hardware store, just a little sanding block, um, bottle of water for my wet and dry, and the wet and dry is 1200 wet and dry, so just very, very light sanding, so I'll give that a crack and hit it with the sanding block first, and hit it with the wet and dry after, then over to the polishing wheel, so you can see that go. Alright, two secs. Okay, so I've given that a good sand, a little bit of the alloy you can see on there, and it's come up pretty good. So I'm going to go whack it on the wheel and uh, hit it with some brown first and then a bit of white after the white's the finisher, the brown's the cutter, and uh, we can shoot over to the wheel and have a look at that and you can watch me do that. And it's got 240 paper in there, I've got it in the vise, it's probably not the best way to have it, but I'm going to use that. I'm going to hit this really, really hard with the 240 and then go back and work it with the uh, sanding block and with the 1200, and then over to the polishing wheel and give it a good polish up. All right, so let's see how this works out. Okay, so there is the piece after it's been sanded. You can see all the coating has been removed. That's the comparison to the original, so you can see the, you can see the difference there. Now I'm just going to head over to the wheel and give it another blast on there and uh, show what it looks after after we've hit it a couple of times. So first I'm going to use this wheel, which is a cutting in wheel. Uh, this is going to get that metal really, really sh uh, soft and, and get it back to a nice smooth surface. Then I'm going to use this wheel second, which is the polishing wheel. Um, brown first for the cut, and then white for the finish. Okay, let's do this thing. Just finished with the brown. So we've just finished with the brown. You can see that it's starting to get a little bit of the luster on it. Um, what I'm going to do is just quickly hit it with some 1200. Try and get as much of this up and left a little bit of the coating on. You can see there. A little bit in there. Try and just get the rest of that off. Sand that off. And uh, hit it again with the brown. And um, then go hit it with the white and see how she finishes up. So I've hit it again. Got all this final little pits off. So now it's ready to go for the final polish with the brown and then the uh, final clean up and finish up with the white. So in a couple of minutes it'll all be done. So that's 
So that's all finished up with the brown there, and you can see really starting to come to a really nice shine. I'm just going to switch wheels and go over to the white wheel, which I probably need a new one. Uh, grab one of them next time at the hardware store. Screw that on. Now it's counter clockwise, obviously, so it doesn't unwind when you're polishing these. Right, pretty well. It's a good polishing wheel. I've had this for a few years and I've done tons of jobs with it, so it looks amazing. So, yeah, let's give it a crack with the white one, eh? You can see it's pretty gleamy, comes up like chrome versus the, uh, the standard one. See, I think it looks just a ton better. Very hard to get it in the light here, but you can see how much reflection it's got in it. It looks really, really good. And you can see that one has pretty much no reflection. So last thing I'm going to do is just finish it up with a, a bit of this uh, Mother's Billet polish. I, I like to use this just at the end of a job just to really get that final shine out. So it's got a black rag here. So a little bit of polish on the rag. Just wiping. Nicely there. A bit of H2O. A bit of cleaner. And finally, just hit it with a bit of window cleaner. Really see just how, how beautiful that has come up.